Killer's appeal, Craig Price confessed to killing four of his Warwick neighbors back in the 1980s. Today, his lawyer went before the state Supreme Court asking for Price to be let out of prison, saying the new sentence he's been serving since 1997 is too harsh. Highway to Susan reporter Sean Daly joins us now live with all of the day's developments from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. For years, Craig Price has been public enemy number one in Rhode Island. He killed four people by the time he was 15. Now he's appealing a 25-year prison sentence for criminal contempt of court. The Honorable Supreme Court. A lawyer for Craig Price asked the state Supreme Court today to throw out his 25-year prison sentence for criminal contempt of court. A family court judge gave Craig Price that sentence after he refused to undergo a court-ordered psychiatric evaluation. That court order came after Craig Price admitted he murdered four of his neighbors in Warwick in the late 80s. Under Rhode Island law back then, because Craig Price was a juvenile, he would have been freed at age 21 if not for the contempt of court conviction. Today, Supreme Court Justice Maureen McKenna Goldberg sounded unsympathetic to Craig Price's legal argument. There was plenty that he could do. He could ask for a treatment plan. He could have objected. There was an awful lot that he did nothing. He did none of that. But Craig Price's lawyer said her client refused the psychiatric evaluation on the advice of his previous lawyer. She called 25 years an incomparable sentence for contempt. You could search high and low through history and not find a 25-year sentence for contempt. Are you suggesting that the judge back then in sentencing Mr. Price to 25 years for contempt was really sentencing him in a convoluted way for the murders of the four people? I can't speak to that at all. The Supreme Court's ruling in Craig Price's appeal is expected sometime in the next 60 days. For now, he's still in prison down in Florida, and he's not expected to be released for another 10 years or so. Live at the state Supreme Court with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.